It's mailbag time. I think when people say that, they imply they got stuff for free. But I didn't. I paid for this. What is it? I wonder what it could be. It's lots of packaging for something very small and light. It's a bag of props. The new Rotorex 2535 props. Ooh, they come with screws. That's a nice touch. And a Rotorex sticker. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So, these are the dual blades. They turn into quad blades. How cool is that? How does this work? That's obviously wrong. There must be... I'm going to sort these so I can kind of work out how they work. So here we have everything in the packet all nulled out. Uh, one thing that surprised me was the fact that there are actually four different kinds of prop, um, just due to the nature of the interlocking mechanism, I guess. Um, so that's how they've had to design that. Um, that's all right. I guess it could be an issue if you have a habit of just breaking, you know, one specific prop. I guess that's unlikely. But um, I'm not sure if they'll start selling, like, individual, you know, types for a replacement, but that's something noteworthy. Righto. So I've got the new props installed on my little little tiny enclosed frame and they look really cool. Gotta say, Rotorex have done a good job. They're always innovating and this is certainly something different. Very cool. So let's see how it flies. So here we have what is being tested today. So we've got the knockoff DYS um, 3020 prop. I believe it's from the same mold as the Rotor X um, version, so I'm going to say it's similar enough. Um, then we've got the Rotor X, the new 2.5 inch quad blade, which is, what is it, a 2535, I think they've rated it at. Um, then I'm going to be testing just the quad blade um, in the dual blade configuration, so just half of the quad blade. And then I'll be testing the rolling spider prop purely because it's the same size. It's a two and a half inch. Um, it doesn't have the bolt down option. It's just a push on prop and it is designed for brush motors. So um, I've had to drill out that middle hole to 1.45 millimeters to slide that on. And the motors I'll be using, I've got a DYS 1104, 4000kV. And I've got an RCX 1105, 4000 kV. And I'm just going to be testing these on 3S. Um, I did do a brief 4S test on this prop, and it got really hot and it started to smell. That was the RCX 1105. Um, so, I don't know, like, it might be alright once you're in the air, but as far as bench testing, I just wasn't keen to actually continue on doing that. So I'll show all the individual thrust tests at the end of the video, but right here, this is just the results all collated. Now, the problem with thrust tests and comparisons like this is that it's just a snapshot, I guess, in the sense that we're only measuring everything at max thrust. Um, so when I worked out the efficiency grams per watt, I was like, wow, the rolling spider is crazy efficient, like more efficient than any other, you know, any of the other props, like... How is the rolling spider more efficient than the DYS um, 3020? Like, it's a bigger prop. It should be more efficient. But when you think about it, um, that's snapshotting at max thrust. So the for the rolling spider, that's 92 grams. If I had of, 
uh, measured the efficiency, grams per watt, um, for the DYS 3020 prop when that was um, when that was um, pushing 92 grams instead of 132, like, well, sorry, 134, like it is on the 1104 motor there. Um, I imagine that the efficiency for the 3020 would be above the rolling spider. Right, after saying that, I couldn't leave that open-ended. I had to actually do the test. So as you can see here in this video, I'm just notching up in clean flight until I get to exactly 92 grams of thrust and recorded down the, um, the voltage, the amperage, um, and compared to the rolling spider. Now the results have kind of blown my mind in the sense that at 92 grams, remember it's just a snap stop still, but it does appear that the rolling spider is more efficient than the DYS 3020. Um, so I'm surprised, I don't know why. Um, you can check over my maths, but you know, I, I've used formulas in the spreadsheet, so I, I'm it's, I'm pretty confident that it's correct. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, if you if you could pump up the rolling spider, you know, quick enough to produce, you know, 150 grams of thrust, you know, let's just say we're making 150 grams of thrust with both those props, perhaps the DYS would be the winner then in efficiency. I don't know, but yeah, that's pretty interesting. Anyway, those are the results I got. Um, take what you will from it. Um, obviously, when you're in the air, um, there are different feelings and kind of flight characteristics. Um, so it's not, you know, the be all and end all. Um, it just kind of gives you an idea um, of the potential efficiency and the potential uh, power from each prop. So there you go. Um, the rest of this video is just going to be the thrust tests. Um, pretty boring, but. I'm just going to add them in just so you can see what I did. Thanks for watching.